Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business. And today I'm going to talk without coding. Uh, this is one of those videos where I talk about IT projects, successful IT projects, project management, getting to results and stuff like that. And the topic of today is quality software and can we afford it? And it's a pretty controversial question and uh, not so simple it sounds, but uh, it came from Laravel Life UK. I attended Laravel Life UK this week and there were quite a lot of presentations about delivering quality code for bigger projects especially. So maintenance, refactoring, automated testing, code reviews, uh, perfect workflow, uh, talking to clients and a lot of related stuff. And it seems pretty uh, pretty great on stage, but when you talk to the same people afterwards with a beer or with coffee uh, in the hallway or with other attendees of the conference, it seems that uh, in the perfect world you can do 100% test coverage, code reviews all the time, uh, all of like upgrade Laravel version when you need it, uh, and all the all the stuff to ensure quality software. But in reality, you don't have time for that. Uh, you always need to deliver tomorrow. You always have limited budget. You always have uh, limited team resources. So a person that can upgrade Laravel version isn't there for a reason because he was busy on other projects. And reality strikes. So that's the main reason why that we sacrifice the quality, the overall quality, uh, but we still deliver on time. That's our main goal, to deliver on time and on budget for our clients. And by that quality, I mean, like an overall, uh, the topic is about stuff that does not relate directly to writing code for new features. So automated testing, it's not new features, right? Upgrading versions of software like Laravel or upgrading server to newer PHP version. It's not directly new features, right? Uh, deployment processes, uh, like tweaking uh, using Laravel Forge and Voyeur or, or whatever tools from the industry. Documentation writing for other developers. Uh, refactoring, cleanup, unused code. Uh, it's also not related to writing new features, right? Uh, code reviews, well, everything that doesn't relate directly to writing a feature, but that ensures quality. And usually, not usually, but quite often for that, we don't have time or budget. And this is the problem, uh, the problem that I encounter in my own work quite a lot in work of my team, because clients push us to deliver quickly and we cannot really afford uh, and also limited budgets. And the projects, uh, our projects that we take are quite small, uh, so again, limited budget and time because of that. Uh, so I, I have this problem and I've talked to a bunch of people in the hallway of Laravel Life UK, uh, shared some thoughts, uh, shared some questions and they answered. And here I have three tips uh, for you and for myself as well. Uh, how can we deal with that? So how can we ensure more quality uh, without sacrificing our budget, our profit margins, our time, our free time. and uh, So basically, what should we do? Solution number one out of three, so I'll, three, I'll have three solutions, three tips for that, uh, is educating the, educating the client. So it's not about writing code or any technical solution. The solution is to talk to the client and explain to them why some features take time or cost more budget. And if you tell them that we will ensure more quality, right? It, it, it's not going to work because they expect quality. It's not like you have a separate quality role somewhere when you get to doctors or to car repair to mechanic. There's no separate line like ensure quality 20% of the price. No one does that. So you shouldn't do that either. Uh, so your arguments for, uh, for clients should be in their language, in business language. So what would happen if we don't do that? So for example, uh, with time, performance of the app will go down. It will be slower when we scale to some number of records in the database, for example. Uh, second thing, it would be harder to onboard new developers because there will be no processes, no readme files, no documentation. So harder to uh, expand the team. Related to that, harder to sell the business if at some point a client wants to sell the business without any proper processes, documentations, and uh, stuff like that. It will be harder to sell. No one would buy a business without documentation. Like you wouldn't buy, I don't know, 
piece of technology without properly documentation. Well, it's maybe a bad example, but you get the point. Uh, so documentation is also needed. Then crucial bugs. So uh, give a few examples of uh, crucial bugs if you don't test the code with automatic test, if you don't cover at least part of it. Give examples of, for example, something will be wrong with transactions, uh, some wrong with, I don't know, money. Money-related examples are best, so clients understand money. So the, the bug would be that transaction will go wrong, transaction will go to a different client, uh, someone will be underpaid or overpaid, or will get some error, won't get invoice, stuff like that. So that's the risk. Tell them about the money risk, financial risks, if you don't code and don't ensure quality enough. Uh, then longer delivery times for new feature. Uh, as the code expands, there will be harder and harder to uh, to give like to expand to new features because inevitably you will be touching old code, which is not the best quality, uh, probably written by someone else without documentation again, uh, and uh, it will be harder and uh, slower to release new features and more expensive. Again, talk talk about the money, so. Basically, talk to the client and educate uh, the client as soon as you, at the moments that you have to make decisions whether to, for example, use TDD or not, or whether to uh, spend more time on certain feature. Just uh, tell the client that you need some more time because otherwise this would happen. So that's probably solution number one, is to ensure more budget and more time by talking to the client and convincing them that uh, it's the only way to, to do a long-term sustainable solution. So that's my tip number one, educate the client. Tip number two, invest your own time, even if it doesn't pay off. Uh, usually, well, there is a number that's floating around the internet that uh, doing automated testing and TDD takes extra 20% of the time. So for example, without testing, you can deliver in a week. Uh, with testing, you would deliver in like, what, seven days? So like extra extra one and a half day well maybe bad example so 10 days versus 12 days so you have two extra days uh, to do testing that's average uh, it depends on the project uh, for bigger projects of course it's a bigger number uh, but it's kind of industry average so uh, you would want the client to for to pay for those 20 percent so you wouldn't uh, use your own money but think about it if you spend uh, your own time your own money in the uh, in the beginning of the project to ensure quality you're kind of doing a job for yourself in the future you are you are building the ground building the fundamentals so you would be so it would be easier for you to work in the future. If you constantly have newest Laravel version, if you have automated code with uh, automated testing with like, we're doing uh, GitHub, Travis CI, uh, then we're starting to use Laristan for static analysis, a lot of automation. So if you set up first, then in the long run, those 20% will pay off and uh, you, you would still bill client uh, with, for example, you have fixed price for milestones of the project. So you get $1,000 here, $1,000 there for every milestone. And those milestones will become easier for you because at some point you sacrifice the 20% of your time and your money uh, up front. Uh, so that's my tip number two. Uh, don't over push the client if they don't want to pay for that. Don't build them extra. Well, you can build if you can, please do. But if client does not uh, want to hear that, then sometimes it does make sense to invest your own time for the sake of your own well mental health, basically. Because <laughs> otherwise, if you don't do that, then at some point you will be frustrated with the whole project. You won't be uh, motivated. You will hate your job. Uh, and if you work with a team, then the whole team dynamic will suffer. Uh, everyone will be angry at each other that why should I work on this project? So basically for the long-term health for everyone, it does make sense to to invest more in, in those quality routines. So that's my tip number two. Uh, sometimes invest your own time and money. And tip number three is look for long-term projects. So everything I've talked, uh, talked about before uh, relates to projects that are long-term. So at least a couple of years then it makes sense to invest, it makes sense to ensure quality. If you are doing only just a few weeks of small job uh, for some client like import CSV and get the data, 
uh, something like that, it doesn't make sense. Uh, those routines and those quality insurance, they pay off only in the long run, where usually in a couple of years there are different technical stacks, like newer Laravel versions, newer, I don't know, server versions, uh, newer, well, newer technical reasons, then probably, or half of the time, different people on the team, then different uh, different ideas from the client after a few years of running business, they probably have new ideas of changing stuff, even some fundamentals. Uh, so a lot of things have changed uh, in a few years, and then it makes sense to invest uh, in the quality assurance from the beginning. So for that, my tip will be look for the clients and for the projects that uh, will potentially stay for long term or they are long-term big projects from the beginning. Then it all comes back to TDD, then it makes perfect sense because uh, for bigger projects and for longer projects, the risks are higher and the clients are more okay with paying for that uh, extra quality. So for example, if you are building, I don't know, typical example, if you want to build next Facebook with the scale of Facebook, you won't even survive without any automation and uh, testing and all the quality assurance because the price of Facebook uh, going down, like there was, I'm not sure about the numbers, but uh, when Google went down, when Gmail went down for, I think it was five minutes or 10 minutes all over the world, the the downside, the financial, the financial loss for Google was like in millions, something like that. Or was it Facebook? I don't remember. So one of those big guys, if they go down, it's like a huge amount of money. Uh, so similar, of course, you won't build the next Facebook. Hopefully, <laughs> one is enough. But uh, if you are going for bigger projects, then you have bigger budgets, including for those quality. I guess that's it for me. Do you agree with me or not? Can you afford uh, quality in your work? How do you deal with the situations uh, where you don't have time for testing the code or doing code reviews or refactoring? When you are pressured with budget and with time, please share in the comments. Let's discuss and see you guys in the next videos of Laravel Business Video Channel.